Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a WordPress website with EasyWP Hosting. And EasyWP is a managed WordPress hosting package from Namecheap. Okay, so Namecheap offers a lot of other things like domain names, SSL certificates, email hosting, all that stuff. But EasyWP is specific for WordPress hosting. So I'm gonna walk you through the process of setting that up, getting your hosting package all ready to go. And that's a really easy thing I think that's why they call it easy WP and then I'll show you a little bit about how to customize your WordPress website in case you're not familiar with that. So if that's something you want to learn how to do. Let's go ahead and hop on into the tutorial here. Okay. So we're going to go to namecheap.com slash WordPress and you'll see here, at least at this time, they're offering a free month of web hosting, uh, on all easy WP plans. So that is really cool. There's no credit card to try it at this point. Um, and as this, this, video down here says set up your website in under a minute with easy wp so that's the process that we're going to go through here um there are we'll look at this in a bit but there are three different options the starter plan the turbo plan and the supersonic plan uh, i recommend the turbo plan for newer websites because you do get the uh, free cdn and the free ssl uh, if you're not familiar with that this just makes your uh, website load quicker around the world and then SSL certificate gives you HTTPS. Um, then if you, for larger websites, uh, this is probably your, uh, an even better option, but, um, you know, for 10 gigabytes is sufficient, right? And if you don't have a lot of visitors, uh, that one, this plan will do just fine. It's just that you don't have access to the CDN and the SSL. So, okay, putting that aside, let's go ahead and go through the process of setting up this WordPress website. So, uh, right now, it's zero dollars so i will start this plan purchase purchase for zero dollars and with that on this page it's just going to ask you a little bit about your website so i'm going to call my website tony's blog and uh i think this is more of a survey so you can fill this out or not this is a personal website for me continue um, I'm going to go, there's three options for a domain name at this point. I'm going to go with a free domain name, uh, because I'm not going to make this a live website, but if you already have a Namecheap account, you can link that in here. Or if you have a, a domain name from another provider, then you can, uh, connect that after creating your hosting plan. So like I said, I'm just going to do Tony's blog, um, and this really long, weird, uh, domain name here. Okay. So let's continue with that. And this is asking if you want to pre-install some plugins. I wouldn't do anything right here, although we might look at Yoast a little bit later. So continue here. And then this is just confirmation. So we're going to have a website called Tony's blog uh, at this domain name, and we're using the easy WP starter monthly. So we'll continue on here. Okay. So that is creating the website. Uh, I'm not sure how long this takes. I think it should be definitely less than a minute because uh, that's what that website said, but um, it looks like it's just a few seconds. So it says, your website, Tony's blog is live. Let's check it out. Let's click on here. This is kind of an overview of the, um, from the perspective of hosting, okay? This is an overview of your blog. This is not WordPress yet. This is, we're still on easywp.com. So um, it seems like we have the SSL certificate installed. Uh, we are online and this is a little bit about our plan. They also have these other tabs here, uh, backups. You can do a, a known demand backup here. Um, you can give yourself access to the file system in the database if you wanna do that. That's more of an advanced topic. And then integrations, uh, there's the, the CDN and some ability to upgrade your email. So um, what I wanna do is take us over to WordPress because like I said, this is none of this is WordPress yet. This is just still in regards to hosting. So let's click on this link to go to our admin website for our uh, WordPress website. And this is gonna take us directly over there via our domain name. Okay. That's my domain name slash WP admin. And that's the standard way to log into your WordPress admin dashboard. Now, if we want to look at our website, we could just knock that off and just go to our actual website.com hit enter. And this is what your website looks like. At this point, we have a WordPress website. Um, like if that was your point of watching this video, you're good to go. This is your, that's how easy, I think that's why they call it easy WP because it is, 
in my opinion, one of the quickest ways of getting set up with a WordPress website. Um, compare this to DreamHost, who uh, they don't install the SSL certificate by default. So we do have an SSL certificate installed. Um, that's an extra step with some other hosting providers. Um, so that, in, again, that gives you HTTPS and makes your connection secure. So um, let me go through some basic customizations in case, like I said, you're not familiar with WordPress, uh, just to give you a brief introduction and then uh, we'll go from there. So uh, going back into our WordPress admin dashboard, you can access this up here, uh, click on dashboard and brief overview here on the left hand side, you can create new blog posts. This is where all your images live, your media um, pages. In addition to blog posts, you can create pages like a contact page or an about page. Um, you can manage your comments in here. Appearance has a couple things, most importantly, the different themes that you can apply to your website. So the themes change the look and feel of your website, um, the colors, the fonts, all that stuff uh, without changing the content. And then plugins, plugins add additional functionality to your website. So uh, we saw the options to pre-install some plugins. Uh, let's see what they did pre-install for us, if anything. So we're gonna click on plugins. Uh-oh, no servers available to, let's, I'm hoping that's just a fluke. Yeah, it was just a some random thing. So this is good that they didn't install any plugins by default. Um, these two plugins come with all WordPress vanilla installs, uh, but what I usually do is just go ahead and delete them because I'm not going to use them. So you can do that too. Um, okay, so let's let's change the theme. So this is what our theme looks like right now. Uh, the theme that I typically use, and we're going to go to appearance themes. Um, is called Generate Press. Now you have literally thousands of themes to choose from. These are some 15, just 15 featured themes, okay? And then here's a list of 3,947 popular themes. So you can scroll through here, see if you like any of these um, and pick which one you like. But the one that I like the most, and I'm just gonna search up here is Generate Press. And the reason I like this the most is because it's, it's such a lightweight theme. It doesn't add a lot of bloat to my websites. And I do use it for pretty much all of my websites. So in order to install this theme or another theme, you just click on install. And then it's going to install uh, to, your, to your WordPress website. But it's not live at this point until we click on activate. So uh, let's click on activate and that'll switch our theme over to generate press. And if we go back to the blog, our website, this is what it looks like. It looks like a completely different website. The content is the same, but the 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 fonts, the colors, all that stuff has been changed, such as the layout and everything. So that's um, that's basically how you switch up your theme. Now you can go a little bit deeper than this and customize your theme. So let's do a little bit of that right now. So for site identity, uh, my title, Tony's blog, we specified that earlier. You can change that or not. <clears throat> and then if you have a tagline like, uh, uh, this is a place where I blog about uh, my life, something like that. And if you wanted to show that, up on your header, you can uncheck that box and show that right here. You can add a logo to your header. You can add a site icon, which is um, this little guy right here. So you just pick the pick them from your local file system, upload them to your server, and then you'll have them showing up on your website. We won't do that because I don't want to make this video too long, but I just want to make you aware that that's uh, an available option. So you can change things in here like your layout, your color, topography, that's like your fonts, uh, change your menus, um, widgets, all this stuff. So again, too, too, too much to go through in one video, just making you aware that they exist. So let's get out of here. What I wanna do is show you kind of how to make a new page and a new blog post. So let's make a new page. Let's go into the pages section. And right now we have a, a sample page and a privacy policy page. This one is just a draft. This one is a, a published page. Um, what I want to do is make a home page. Okay, so right now our home page is just a feed of our latest blog posts. Let's make a page that is going to be just a static page for our uh, when people first go to our website. So what I'm going to do here is um, just make something. So like, welcome, welcome to my blog. And I have some some sample content over here that I'm just going to copy and paste. So uh, you can just start typing here. 
uh, I'm going to say, hi, I'm Tony. Thanks for stopping by my new website. And then if I wanted to add an image below that, the way this editor works is um, you'll see these, uh, if we get out of here, you'll see that everything is categorized or I guess organized into blocks. So this is a block right now that we're in and we're typing in. Um, if we wanted to add content below that, we can either hit enter and you'll see this uh, plus sign show up and we'll add a block to uh, make an image below here. So an, an image is not the only thing that you can do. You can, there's all these different uh, blocks that you can add. Some people call them widgets, um, but you know, buttons, columns, spacers, um, social icons, all this stuff. So what I just wanna show you is to how to add an image. So I'm gonna add an image down here. I'm gonna upload something from my local file system and it's just gonna be a picture of me. So th that'll take a, a second or two to upload. And then while that's uploading, I'm going to add a little bit more content below the image. And you can just add a new block down here. Um, this is just gonna be a paragraph. So I'll, I'll type, type or paste in my content here. And then let's add another block down here. Uh, we'll do a quote this time. And let's say like, comment, and subscribe some subliminal messages here. Um, Tony teaches tech. All right, so um, that looks good for a basic uh, homepage just for this tutorial demonstration. Um, let's go ahead and publish this. So I'm gonna publish my my homepage. It's not a homepage yet. We'll make it our homepage in just a second. So this is what that looks like on my website right now. Um, let's go back here. Let me show you how to make this the home page. Um, and again, just to confirm, when we go to our home page, this is still what we see. So if we go to our admin dashboard and go into settings, uh, I think it's under reading. Yes. So your home page displays right now, it's displaying our latest posts. Let's pick up static page for the home page and make it our welcome to my blog page. Uh, while we're also under here, I'm going to this is, I don't want to confuse anybody, but I want to explicitly pick a post page. And for now, I'm just going to pick the sample page and I'll delete the content from that later. All right, so we'll save that and we'll go back here to our website. And this is now what our home page looks like. The design that we just created, welcome to my blog. Here's the content, the image, more content, and a quote. So that's basically the, the gist of how to make a page. Making a blog post is very similar. So we can go to posts here. And right now we do have that sample content, the hello world blog post. Uh, I'm gonna add a new blog post and the editor is exactly the same. So what I'm gonna do just to save some time is just copy some, again, some sample content in here uh, to show you kind of how it is to make a page. And this is this will be really quick. I won't go through all the individual steps, but um, basically spend some time in here, make everything look good, give them nice headers, uh, add some images, stuff like that. That's what you'll end up with, something that looks like this. The, the extra step that you wanna take when you're creating a blog post is adding a featured image. So in order to add a featured image, and that's just an image associated with your blog post, uh, if we go to settings up here, there's this featured image option and we wanna set a featured image. So again, I'm gonna pick a file, uh, an image from my file system, open that up. And uh, it's always a good practice to give these, uh, your images alt text, cause alt text, uh, if somebody's, you know, if somebody doesn't have sight, if they're blind and they're coming to your website on a, a with a screen reader, then instead of seeing the image, they'll get a description of the image, whatever you type into the alt text. So I'll say um, dot, dot art domain name for my alt text. So we'll set that as my featured image. And what this is gonna do is embed this in line at the top of your blog post. So this is the content of the blog post, the title, and then once we publish this, uh, you'll see what I mean in just a second. So let's view the post. And now that featured image appears right here. And if we go to, uh, and there, this is the content right now, and people will have the ability to come down here and leave a comment and then you can manage those comments in your dashboard. Um, back to the home page, uh, you'll see that the recent posts, we have two posts now, the, the sample hello world post and then this, uh, the one that we just created. 
Okay, um, let me show you a little bit about plugins. Uh, let's go to the dashboard again, go to plugins and installed plugins. So this is, again, we see that we have no plugins installed. Let's add one plugin. And I think the one that I wanna add is the Yoast SEO plugin. And if you're not familiar uh, with S the term SEO, Yoast SEO, SEO is search engine optimization. It's um, a series of techniques that allow your website to be found on Google or other search engines. And it's just a way to, um, I, I guess, a, a collection of best practices for, for doing that and crafting your website in a way where um, search engines understand the content. Because it's not like a, a human's coming to your website, evaluating it and saying, you should be the second search result in Google. It's uh, automated systems that do this. So Yoast SEO plugin helps you uh, achieve some of those best practices. So I went ahead and installed and activated this plugin. And what this does, uh, it does a whole lot of stuff, but one of the cool things that it does, if we come back into our blog post, the one that we just created and edit that, if we come down to the very bottom and you'll see it here, uh, Yoast did a readability analysis and says that's good. It did an SEO analysis and says that it needs improvement. So let's see what what's going on down here. So this whole section down below the content that we just created is the Yoast SEO plugin. So as far as readability is concerned, uh, in real time, it analyzed the content of our blog post. It says we're using active voice, that's good. There's enough variety in my sentences subheadings, distribution, paragraph length, sentence length. So it goes very in depth as far as um, analyzing your content. That's from a readability perspective. But from an SEO perspective, uh, we get a bad score right now because we don't have a focus keyword. Our focus keyword, and if in case that's not um, explicit at this point, this is a, a, a blog post about the art dot art domain name. So you know you have dot com domain names, dot org domain names. There's also dot art domain names. So that is the keyword that I want to be the keyword phrase that I want to show up for with Google. So if I type my focus keyword as art domain domain name, it's going to analyze my content. And we went from a, a red frown face to an orange uh, not so frowny face. And based on that, uh, the analysis, it's saying that we did a lot of good things. We have outbound links, uh, sentence, uh, key phrase length is okay. We have some image all attributes, all this stuff. Uh, it's long enough, 782 words, but we need more internal links. We should probably write a meta description and I'll, I'll tell you what, actually, let's do that now. A meta description is how your website shows up in Google. So uh, when somebody goes to Google, this will probably look familiar. Uh, they'll see the title and then they'll see a description. So we need to explicitly write that description. And I went ahead and did that prior to filming this. So I can just write my description in this meta description box and that's what it's going to look like minus the bolding uh, for the art domain name phrase. That's what the meta description is going to look like for people who come to your website. And you'll see the, the featured image here too. So now we have, uh, based on Yoast's perspective, a good um, SEO analysis score. So we got a green smiley face for readability and a green smiley face for SEO analysis. Um, so yeah, let's just update that go back to our dashboard and uh, yeah, there's so much more that you can do here. I have um, a whole bunch of other videos on this channel about how to get started with WordPress, how to customize WordPress, all that stuff. I do recommend checking this one out, which is the 15 things that you should do right after installing WordPress. So that's a good place to uh, transition after watching this video. I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.